Well, you may be looking at your outdoor area thinking that you don't have the space to grow vegetables. Our next guest says that yes, you do. Welcome, Jack. Now, you have a system that doesn't take up much space at all. Now, tell me about this. Yeah, so this is the vertical veggie tower. Uh, it's all about utilising the space that you have, um, minimising your water usage, um, but obviously helping you grow your own fresh produce at home. Okay, it's quite self-explanatory, isn't it? It's like vertical when you grow veggies in it. Yep. So how does it actually, how does it all work? Uh, so it's a lot like hydroponics, uh, but it's what we call aeroponics. So the plants grow in the little pods here. So These little things? Yep. So to start off, what you do is you um, plant your seeds in the germination tray uh, for about three to four days. Right. And then once they're germinated, you transfer the uh, rock wall into the, uh, into the pod. Um, and okay. from there, they just grow like any normal plant. Huh. What is this made out of? Uh, so the rock wall, it's superheated rock that expands. Uh, and then once it's expanded, they just compress it back down and that's, that's what it ends up like. So can you use this multiple times or do you, you just use it the once? You only get one use out of that. Um, but you can, okay. you can buy more. Oh, there is on screen there. Wow, there's one in full bloom. Looks great. So the thing about this, do vegetables grow better in this than they would in the soil? Yeah, so uh, there's two main advantages to growing them in the vertical veggie tower. There's they're prone to a lot less disease. Um, and also, because they're growing in oxygen, uh, it promotes really fast root growth, which where you have fast root growth, you get fast foliage growth. So you'd actually grow things faster than you would in the yep. in the garden, and I guess snails wouldn't be such an issue if you're on like a if you're on like flat five for the fifth floor of a flat. Yeah, that's right, and you don't building. have to worry about uh, cats and dogs doing their business on them. Oh yeah, that's always fun with your garden. I guess there are some things that you can't grow in something like this. Yeah, definitely. We've had very limited success with things like potatoes, uh, beetroot, radishes. Yeah, because how are you going to get a potato through that little tiny thing? Yeah, that's right. Those little um, those little mesh things there, right? Yeah. But it's great for things like all your herbs, uh, even flowers, uh, lettuces. Uh, we've had people growing strawberries, zucchinis, tomatoes. Uh, so you're really not limited by a lot. And I mean, it's just up to up to you to experiment with it. Cool. Uh, talk me through what what these are as well. Sorry. Yeah. So because the plants aren't growing in the soil, they still do need nutrients. Uh, so that's why we've got the plant A and plant B solution. So that just gives the plants all the necessary nutrients that they need to grow. Okay. So you put that in there like once a week or so. Yep. So when you start, you put you put your solution in the bottom of the tank when you fill it with water. Yep. Um, and then we recommend that every week you just monitor the water level and you, you use a wee pH meter to check the pH of the, of the water to make sure that it's not too basic or acidic uh, because that will kill your plants yeah. or make them taste like metal. No, yes, well no one wants metal tasting basil in their Thai stir fry. And then the water just comes up through here. Yep. And so there's a little pump down in the bottom of the reservoir which pumps it up uh, and it runs every 15 minutes for 15 minutes mm -hmm. um, and the pump's about the size of a, one you may find in a fish tank. Um, okay, so, so not loud and quite low maintenance? Not loud, low maintenance, you never have to worry about weeding or watering, so yeah, it's fantastic. So you don't get, well you wouldn't get weeds, would you, unless they're airborne? Nope. No weeds. I'm liking the sound of this. This is sounding like my kind of gardening. And you can just wheel it out of the way. You can just wheel it back in. Yep. If you get sick of it, just get rid of it. Oh, I like the sound of that. Hey, well, this is really interesting. Nice work. I'm really, what would one of these sort of things set you back, price-wise? Um, so on the website, you can get them for $495, which includes the tower and the solutions, the pH meter, and all your germination okay. kit. Oh, interesting stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing one fully. We should get one here in the studio, actually, and get one growing. Hey, Jack, well, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, not a problem. And if you'd like, if you're more interested, sorry, in uh, getting all the information on the system, go to verticalveggies.co.nz and you can see all about them.